Your character is kind of in more of the dark part of the film. You're on a ship and you're trying to overthrow the king. Do you like playing those sort of roles? I do. Because I think like when you play a bad person or like someone who's not so nice, um, people people in the audience go, oh, I wonder what's wrong with them. I wonder. And then when you play someone who's just nice and good, you're like, uh-huh. <laughs> so I actually think it's better to be bad. And, you know, this is a, a Shakespeare film. There's a lot of rich history in there. Did you kind of, you know, research or did you just get the script and jump right into it? I just jumped in, really. I, you know, I, I'd seen the play many times and, uh, yeah, I mean, you can't really research. I mean, I guess I could have gone to Florence and found out what it was like to be a prince, <laughs> but I just pretended. And, uh, when you play a bad character, is there somebody in your life that you kind of molded after that kind of, like, maybe bossed you around as a kid or something? Um... Not in this instance. In this instance, I sort of based him on Prince Andrew, because I think he's a bit dim. He's always seemed a bit dim to me, and so I thought, I, and I, I thought that my character was a bit not the sharpest knife in the cutlery set. So I, um, I thought about, I thought about, you know, inbred royals. <laughs> That's what I thought about. Um, Shakespeare, I mean, a lot of people hear the name and groan because they had to read it as, as kids. How do you think this kind of uh, film also will get the younger generation into it? Is there elements for, for them as well? Well, yeah, I think the, um, you know, this, plays, this film's about magic, the play's about magic. And so actually in the film, the kind of all the technical wizardry and the special effects, it, it can actually uh, show all that magic in a way that the, in the play it's only about descriptions of it. So it's got really amazing effects and uh, it's kind of a feast for the eyes as well as for the ears and uh, everything. It's a, it's a supernova of sensation. I like that. They need to get you on the, on the you know. The poster saying that, shouldn't they? Yeah. Exactly. And before we go, I mean, you're doing a wonderful job in The Good Wife. We're seeing you back. How, how much fun is it to do TV, movies, balance it? You're enjoying yourself? I really like it. I love doing The Good Wife because it's sort of like, like if you'd said to me at the beginning of this year, oh, you're going to be playing this Jewish political consultant in a suit, I'd be like, yeah, whatever. It's so not what I thought, you know, but I'm actually, I think he's so different to me that I feel he's like as different as like a superhero or a god. You know, when you play those characters that you think, well, I've, there's no connection to my life. Eli Gold is up there with gods and superheroes and horses for me in terms of the characters I've played. And lastly, he's pretty slimy, so we, when we watch it, we ask what's wrong with him. So you're doing the, you're doing the job right. Yes, he, yes. I, we're all wondering what's wrong with Eli. I'm sure it was going to come out one of these days. All right, for sure. Well, congratulations on all the success and enjoy yourself. Thanks very much. Nice to see you. See you later.